All right, guys, today your battery dreams are gonna come true. All right, all right, so maybe it's not as dramatic as that, but if you're looking for batteries, well, today is a good day. Uh, you see, this is what happens. For two and a half years, three years, the biggest problem that I've encountered is finding a good source of battery. And it just seems like this week that has completely changed. Well, I mean, you know, it's been gradual, right? I was able to get the Tesla modules, these other modules and stuff from the cars, but those are like big packs and they're kind of expensive still, right? But then remember last week we found the $1 cells, right? And that was a good deal. So good that like you guys bought 20,000 of those cells in like one day. So I am here to tell you that that deal, you thought that deal was good? Man, that was child's play, let me tell you. I found a guy that has real LG cells, 2200 milliamp hours. These are power cells uh, for $1.25. Right, so you'll have to buy about uh, 200 cells, I think, to get that for that price. If you want to buy just uh, less, like 20 cells at a time, then it's going to be like a dollar 75, right? Um, here's the link for the dollar 75 ones, right? If you need more, then you should do this one right here, which is for a dollar 25. And here's the thing um, I'm talking to him because I know there's going to be a lot of you that are going to want more than that, right? And, and so if you buy more, you know, you know, you should pay less for them, right? If you're buying 10 kilowatts worth of these batteries, you know, you should pay less than the dollar twenty-five that everyone else is paying. So I'm kind of working with him. I haven't got an answer yet, but here's the deal. If you need like large amounts of these cells, like 10 kilowatts, 20 kilowatts, 30, 50, 100 kilowatts, sign up here. Tell me how many batteries you need. And then I'll tell you what what's the best price that this guy is willing to give you, you know, and then I'll just forward that order to him, but I'll negotiate uh, on your behalf, right? Because I have a little bit of leverage because you got so many of you guys want. But let's talk about the batteries. These are LG packs. They come pack bundle in 10 cells, right? And so they're configured 10S, 10 cells in series, two in parallel. These cells are 2200 milliamp hours, which is about eight watt hours per cell. That means that each little pack is about 162 watt hours. That's the good thing. They already come packaged, and so if you can use them that way, there's not a lot of work. It even comes with that little XT60 connector, which is a really high-end quality connector that like the RC community use. I think it's, uh, it'll kind of handle like 100 amps or something for bursts of 100, probably like 50 amps continuous or something, some crazy thing, right? Um, so all you have to do is buy the you know, female side of the X connector, and then you can connect those. Here's the downside. They're kind of, they're kind of weird, right? Because they're they're packaged in 10S, so it's about 37 volts nominal. It's kind of a weird voltage. Uh, so depending on what you use them for, you might have to break them apart or whatever. So let's see, look, EV guys, if you want to build an EV, if you want to use the 96 uh, volt systems from HPVS, right? The Curtis uh, 1238 plus the AC50 or AC51 or whatever, that can run on 30S, right? That's what I have on my Samba, 30S, 111 volts nominal. Fully charged, is, it's just a couple of volts like below the maximum that the controller can handle. So, three of these little packs in series will give you 30S 111 volts, <laughs> right? So all you do is you just put three in series and then you parallel all those. Each three of these in series will give you almost half a kilowatt. So, you know, 486 watt hours, right? So about two of those strings will be almost a kilowatt. How many of these would you need for your electric car? Well, my bus gives me 100 miles on around 33 kilowatt hours, right? So about 200 of these little um, bricks will get you 100 miles in a bus like mine. If you're driving a smaller car or a newer car that's got better aerodynamics or whatever, then you might actually go further. You might need less than 200, maybe 150 of these packs will get you about 100 miles. And the cool thing about these is that they're tiny, they're small, and they have all these little connectors. So we could put them in like boxes and put like, you know, sets of three, like, you know, six or nine or 12, you know, whatever, multiples of three, then, you know, connect all those little connectors to big, two big bus bars. 
and then you can put that anywhere in the car and that's the cool thing i want to i'm thinking i can use those for my samba because the tesla mod modules they don't fit under my floor i mean they fit there but i have to like do a bunch of work like structural work so i can fit them put them in there and then like weld everything back together and once they're there they're there if one of them messes up i can't take it out because i have to cut metal right um and so with these ones i mean they're essentially you know like little bricks like this right and they have the little connector you put them in there in little boxes wherever they fit you connect them bam ready to go so that's the cool thing if you're an ev and you want to to use these cells for that they're like ready to go and they have a bms so um i'm gonna play around with them the guy's gonna send me some uh hopefully that BMS works. Hopefully it puts out a, a, you know, some decent amount of power because these cells are power cells. So they can output 10 amps, I think, continuous, which which make them uh, 5C cells or whatever. Um, okay. What about power wall, guys? Uh, okay, so here's where it gets a little bit more challenging, right? So as you guys know, for power wall applications, uh, the inverters really was going to determine what voltage you're going to use right there are a ton of this 12 volt inverters uh and they're really cheap because they're for like you know rv applications and stuff we won't we can use them on these because well for 12 volts you either need 3s or 4s right or in between 3 and 4s so we would have you have to break them apart you can use them but it's just a lot more work and it's kind of a shame to break out apart these little modules that are put together already but you could do it. If you want a 24, that 6S is the same thing. You'd have to break them apart, do the thing is. For 48 volts, you would need around 12 to 13S, right? And you can go all the way to 15S, because that's what we are using on, because that's what we're doing with the Tesla modules. And we're even gonna do uh, one setup that is gonna have 16S. We found some inverters that I think we work when we're looking at the spec sheets, it'll work. So the problem, is of course these come in either 10s or 20s right and so here's what i would suggest i would suggest to not try and use those like that uh on 20 on 12 or 24 right because you'd have to break them apart i mean if you want to break them apart go ahead but what i would suggest is for you to go to 48 volt system because well 48 volt systems are better they run more efficient and so what it will that allow you to do is use one right it would let you use one of these little modules 10s and then just get two more cells outside right and put them in series with that and then you get your 12s so what you would do is you parallel as many of these modules as you want whatever size of power wall you want to get right and then uh you break some of these apart and then make your other two modules um and so, for example, if you have one, two, three, four modules, that means you're going to have eight cells in parallel, right? And so you would make two extra modules, 8P. So eight cells in parallel and two of those modules, and then you connect them in series. And so that would make your 37 volt nominal of each one of these little packs into, you know, the more closely to 48 volts, something that your 48 volt inverter can use. So that's what I would, it's kind of messy, it's not, you know ideal because then you have some modules that look one way and some other modules that are that look different um these two last modules are not going to be in a bms board right because those i think those boards are 8s uh, 10s boards right so they're designed specifically for this little battery pack and stuff so you know if you wanted to use uh, a bms board you could use single cell boards and put them on those last two modules or whatever. So that's how you can do that. Uh, here's the other thing uh, that I want to experiment with. The solar inverters. Solar inverters, when they start getting high up there, you know, like two kilowatt, three kilowatt, 10 kilowatt or whatever, they will accept uh, 100 to 200 volts and some even up to 1000 volts of solar, right? And so because the solar panels variate so much, when the sun goes down and then when the sun is like shining strong or whatever that means the variance of voltage that they can take it's like huge you know it's like they can take anywhere from 100 volts to 200 volts we can find some of the smaller ones that will do that and we can just put all these batteries in series to make 100 volts you know i mean three of these in series it's 111 volts 
So you put six of those, then you're in the 200 volts, right? And so that's the other way that we can do our power volts. So I haven't tried this. Um, maybe I'm gonna get the chance to try some of this. You can get one of these inverters. You can put, you know, your pat your battery pack in the 100, 200 volt, you know, thing. And then it runs a lot more efficient. It pulls less amperage off of your packs, which will means that it's gonna be better for the packs, right? You could even charge them using uh, solar, right? And you just get all your panels and then you put a charge controller and then you charge your batteries there. And then from your batteries, it just goes through your to your inverter. So your, your batteries are always connected between your solar charger and your inverter. That could work. So there are ways that we can use these packs. And as far as I know, this guy has a lot of them, like in the millions. If you need large amounts of these packs, let me know. I, I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying and get you like the best price. Also, you Evik guys, right? Uh, I, I'm gonna try and put them in my bus because I'm excited. Oh, I can just put a bunch of these little things in those cubby holes in my floor. So this is cool, you know, go get them. Like, here's the link, he's shipping today. No, no one really knows they're there yet. Uh, remember, it, I'm gonna be getting more and more of these because I'm kind of being, you know, I'm I'm kind of known as the guy that can sell batteries now. Uh, as much as I was fighting the thing that I didn't want to be the battery guy, but this is important, you know, we're saving the planet one battery cell at a time. So um, if you want to be notified in the future, remember you gotta sign up here. Here's also some exciting stuff that is coming up. I'm taking my channel the next level, guys. Um, you know, these power walls, are great and there's a, there's a, you know thousands of you guys that need some and so I'm going to help you with that but I'm going to start working on one that it no longer can be called Powerwall it's going to be a power pack so we're talking about 300 kilowatt hours to 500 kilowatt hours right so we don't we haven't settled yet when so it's it's to run a factory you know and it's going to be what Tesla's calling the power pack the stuff that is running you know Edison now here in Southern California. And so we're gonna do some large scale thing just like that. Um, and this is gonna happen pretty soon. And those batteries are gonna be available to you guys too. It's just, I have to kind of work out the, the kinks, you know, design a system, install it, and then we're gonna do a video. And hopefully you guys are gonna help me make that go viral. And then whoever needs large, you know, we're talking about 100 to 500 kilowatt hour battery banks for your business for your neighborhood. I mean, I don't know what you would need this, right? For, uh, we're thinking about doing like remote fast charging stations for cars, right? Imagine you have a 100 kilowatt battery pack that's trickle charging and then, you know, you pull up there in some road or whatever, you plug in, you fast charge your car and then deplete half of that battery pack, right? But then that, there's, that thing sits there, just trickle charging until the next person arrives. So, I mean, we're thinking about, we're thinking big now, right? Because we have access to these cells and that's coming up. So stay tuned. These projects are gonna be pretty, pretty cool. All right, guys. Things are starting to get really, really excited around here and I owe it all to you guys. Thank you for all your support, all the views and the likes and stuff. Oh yeah, tomorrow tune in. I wanna announce the winner of uh, the batteries. This video is already too long, so I don't wanna do that. So come back tomorrow because you might have won those batteries, all right? Okay, see you in the next one. Bye.